Hey everyone, by the title of this video, you can tell I'm doing a literal massive spring haul. I don't even know any other way to describe it. There are just so many items of clothes, shoes, well, one pair of shoes, that I have to show you guys today. I have just been going ham. Just know that it's collective. It wasn't all at once, and it's pretty much all my shopping from like January and February. I feel like I've just been getting back into shopping. I don't know what's been going on. But yeah, I got so many cute items to show you from Free People, like a Goldie Jeans, Aritzia, Bands, Urban Outfitters, Revolve, Reformation, Brandy Melville, the list goes on and on. So yeah, before we get into it, all the links that I can find to these items, I will link in the description box because I know that can be really frustrating if you want to find something and you can't find it. So I'm going to do my best to find everything and link it down below. And so my social media will be linked down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you're not already. Give me a nice little comment. I really appreciate it. I always read all my comments. And yeah, let's just get on into it. So the first place I'm going to show you guys stuff from is Free People, or I guess specifically Free People Movement. And if you have been following me on Instagram or seeing my stories or my posts, you probably have seen these because I've been like going ham about them. First, I got this green little set. It's just this green, I don't know if to call this like a sports bra or just a cropped little tank. So soft, so stretchy. And... If you're like me when i first went in there and i was holding them up i'm like these look so small that definitely won't fit me but know that they do run true to size they're super stretchy and super comfy so i just get the extra small small version even though they look really tiny they stretch and fit you I promise so so cute so comfy these tops i think are only like 30 dollars or something like that so they're actually like really affordable too especially for how good quality they are and then i just got these green leggings these are, I forget what they're called, but again, they'll be linked down below. They're like the 7 8 something, something. They're just like really soft and seamless and stretchy. Love working out in these. Love lounging around in these. Love everything about them. Um, and their little like symbol too is really cute. And I, if you guys saw in a vlog, I feel like I was just seeing everyone wearing their leggings. And I'm like, okay, I feel really left out right now. And I'm so happy I finally tried them because... I love it so much and then this set specifically is my fave I got it second secondly after <laughs> the green one and this style of top I think I need in actually every color you've definitely seen this all over my Instagram if you've been following me on Instagram it's just this perfect gray color oh, I love it so much I love the style of this and I feel like it kind of holds you in a little bit better than that last style which is a little more comfy so I really feel comfortable spinning in this like at soul cycle and it is just so stinking cute and so comfortable and then I also just got the same leggings as those green ones but in the same like matching gray color I've been obsessed you guys obsessed like this I've worn like every day for like a week I need to chill all right there I moved you back a little bit I felt like you were really close okay next up what I have to show you is three pairs of jeans a goldie jeans and the first pair I'm wearing right now so you're just gonna have to see on the try on <laughs> but they are basically these kind of boyfriend fit like light medium wash jeans that are really distressed with like two huge rips in the knees I love these so much I want to say these are called the Agoldi like 90s jean and I just love them so much again they'll be linked down below I think these I got on shop Bop or revolve or something they have them a bunch of different places like shop Bop, revolve Aritzia I don't know if they're on Aritzia anymore um lulu stuff like that so wherever i can find these like in stock somewhere online i will link down below like i keep saying and then i would think that these ones again this is collective because you guys have seen this in vlogs for a while these are the first pair i got i want to say these were also called the 90s jeans just in the black um the black color but this has a different type of rip so it has a rip like up here just one rip like on your thigh instead of the knees so they are different oh and what's really good to mention at this moment is that these run really big i would go like one or two sizes down i still like them kind of like oversized so i pretty much get a 27 and everything but these are 26s and are like almost too big like i almost feel like i could be a 25 in them so know that you should definitely at least size down one size because they run really big and then the last pair of a goldie jeans i have to show you guys are these just light wash like no rip ones and these i'm wearing in like a really 
cute picture on my rooftop over there with like back bay in the back and I'll like insert the picture right here and yeah I just love these jeans I feel like they go with so much I like how they're like distressed at the bottom and why in my mind do I want to call them like the Riley jean that might be like completely wrong but again find the link to them link them down below love them so much and those I want to say I got those at Aritzia but again you can get like a Goldie jeans at so many places a Goldie the brand in general just like fits me really well since I feel like I have a hard time finding jeans that fit and you know what I'm realizing you guys I feel like I'm already gonna get so many questions about how I did my hair like we're just gonna like sidetrack really quick because I have been loving these like brush blow dryer things and I did my hair like this when I did my little princess poly haul if you guys saw that and I got so many questions being like how did you do your hair da, 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 da. so I actually grabbed them to show you because they're stuff that I bought so they can go in salt right okay I'm gonna show you we have a little discussion about them because you need to know so Taylor was telling me that everyone was going like crazy on Instagram and online about this like Revlon, this is the Revlon one, blow dryer brush because basically it blows out air while you're brushing your hair. So it allows me to like go like this and like give myself a little mini blowout because you know how your hair looks like this when you get it blown out like professionally and they'll like round brush your hair. But I can't learn how to do that to like save my life. So that's why this thing is amazing and this was like $60 on Amazon. I will link it down below. So this is mine, but if you want my real opinion and my real recommendation, it would be to get this one because basically Taylor ordered it and then it came and she was like, Gretchen, I think I ordered the wrong one. Like it doesn't even say Revlon, like I messed up. And we were looking and basically this one is $29. It is half as much as the Revlon one, but it works exactly the same. And it looks exactly the same too. It just literally doesn't say Revlon on here. It's just like a off brand. I don't even know if it has a brand, um, but it looks exactly the same. So I would recommend this one. I'll link them do both down below on Amazon. And basically once Taylor got this one, we were like, we wonder if the Revlon one is different anyway. So we ordered the Revlon one just to see. And now that I've used both, I'm gonna tell you that I literally think they're exactly the same. So if you want to just pay half, get this one in. If for some reason you just want the Revlon one, get the Revlon one. But yeah, that's my little spiel on this. And if you want to see me like do my hair with it in a vlog so you can see how I do it, I will. But literally, you just section it off, go like that. And then it has this like cute little wave at the bottom. Um, yeah, so these just like side note me and Taylor have been obsessed with those and they dry your hair quick and they make it like styled and cute and fun so I would really recommend and especially since the not Revlon one is like $29 like that is so amazing but anyway moving on with the clothes I think this is the only Lululemon item I have for you guys and you might have seen I don't know if I talked about it but when I was in Pennsylvania at one point visiting Max in Lehigh in the Lehigh Valley Mall they have like the cutest Lululemon there and I was just looking at everything and I basically just got these Align joggers and the reason I love these is because they are just like the Align leggings they're so soft but they're jogger shape so they're so comfy so soft but when i don't feel like yanking on a pair of leggings or wearing like something tight and just being like even more comfy like they're like the aligned leggings but loose so these are just so nice i love these little joggers so much and i just had lululemon like on the fly joggers before i think that were just more like athletic feeling and these are more like comfy and soft feeling so i prefer these but i guess it's just like whatever material you prefer in your joggers but obviously the line material if you guys know it's like thin and soft so if you have any like pet or any like dust or a shedder that a shedder a sweater that sheds or something it's gonna get stuck to this like it they get really um, you know what I'm saying? They get stuff like stuck to them really easily, the material, and they can like peel easily, stuff like that. So yeah, I guess it's just like whatever you prefer. And I guess this is a good time to mention if I did in the beginning, none of like this isn't sponsored at all. This is like my pure opinion because I know when I'm like going off about hairbrushes and stuff, you're probably like, is she getting paid to say this? No, like I'm just passionate. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that was the only thing I got from Lululemon. And then what shall we do next? This is so fun. Okay, I guess I'll show you guys Brandy Melville. Though so I literally just popped in there in Reformation because they're like over at the beginning of Newberry. And yeah, I haven't gone over there in a while. Reformation's so cool, by the way. Like side note, if you guys have one in your town, I feel like there's not that many of them. But if you come to the one in Boston, I know the one in San Francisco is like this too when I went 
to the one in San Francisco, I think, where it's like really interesting when you shop in there. You like don't pick up the clothes, you just like look at them, and then you go to this screen and you click like add to dressing room, and then you go to your dressing room and they're like in there in this wardrobe waiting for you. It's like kind of interesting. I like like it and don't like it for different reasons. Anyway, I digress. It was like fun just shopping over there. I feel like I haven't like been shopping on Newberry for a while, and yeah, I just wanted to bring a level of information. So this is what I got from Brady Melville. I really like this dark gray little sweater. I just like that it buttons up, long sleeve. I thought it was like really comfy, but also cute. So I really like that. I also like how affordable Brandy is. Like this gray t-shirt was literally $20. And I know you're probably like, wait, why did you even pay $20 for a plain gray t-shirt? But I just really liked the fit of it. It's really oversized and comfy, but also it's like so thick and heavy if you could feel it or see it in real life and I just like that I thought it was like a really cozy material and will be like warm I know that's weird to say about a t-shirt but it's like so heavy that it's like good quality and I really liked it with like biker shorts and sneakers or something and then I got these sweatpants I feel like everyone loves their sweatpants I definitely had a couple of the gray pairs back in the day just the, like the lighter gray that tied in the front but I feel like they got really stretched out and almost like pilly in the butt or like thin like I don't know I feel like I had to end up like donating them or if they really had holes like throwing them away and yeah so hopefully these are better but I feel like everyone just loves their sweatpants so much so I just got this dark gray pair and they honestly are so comfortable and have such like a cute casual fit so I really like those and then let's do reformation that'll be fun I haven't done reformation in so long I like love reformation I know it's a little more pricey but their stuff is like amazing quality, honestly. And I feel like I'm just more about the brands that even though they're more expensive in the moment, are such good quality that they're literally gonna last like forever. And they're just like a lot more sustainable. So anyway, first thing I got from Reformation is this pink top. I thought it was so cute. It's like ribbed. I really like the cut around the top. And all I ever seem to wear is like white or gray or black. So I was like, Gretchen, branch out, get some color. This is the Bardo top in blush. Yeah, so it's just stretchy, soft, cute. Really like it. And then this is like, these are the jeans that I have like in the try on for everything. And at one point, it displeased me that you could see the tag and everything. So I took it off. Oh, the tag's over there. Let me grab it. These are the Cynthia High Relax jeans in the color Colorado. Side note, the sizing at Reformation really confuses me. I have a pair of skinny jeans from there that like aren't stretchy that are 26 and they're like pretty tight, but like they're okay. Then I have a pair of black um, high-waisted, more like stretchy jeans that are tight. They're 27, good. And then these I tried on in a 27 because that's what I typically am. They were so tight I couldn't breathe, so I had to get a 20 and I said to the girl when I was checking out I was like are all jeans like different here like am I gonna be a different size and everything so I feel like just know that they can be maybe like inconsistent there or I guess it just depends she's like honestly it depends on how stretchy the jeans are like these kind of don't have any stretch they're just like typical like jeans you know but I really like the fit of these I've been into more like obviously all the goldy ones I was showing you guys are more like boyfriend loose fit or even the ones without the rips were more like straight. These are kind of like a straight jean, but like more loose and just like skin tight, painted on skinny jeans, you know? And I've kind of been like into it. So I really like the wash of these. I think they're really flattering. They just fit me perfect. Like they make my butt look good. Reformation jeans are expensive, but I think that they fit me so well and they're literally gonna last forever. So yeah, I think it's worth it. And then I got this bodysuit this is the nissa bodysuit in ivory i don't know why i just started telling you guys the names of things but again it's all gonna be linked down below and i just thought this bodysuit was so cute at first i was like do i need it like gretchen you have a million million white things but i really liked how it buttoned all the way up i just thought that was like fun and unique and would be really cute tucked into like any jeans ever so love this bodysuit again like so thick and such good quality and then the last set so kind of like one item i think they came together yeah so i thought it was expensive but it's kind of like two in one price you know since it's a set i didn't think i needed it and then i was like do i need it do i need it i think i need it it's so soft and cozy like how many how much gray and white does gretchen have um this is the venice two-piece set heather gray yeah and basically it's this really 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 
soft material it's so soft it feels like cashmere and it's just this cute like oversized little kind of sweatery long sleeve top and it has like a little cowl neck it's just so like chic but comfy that's what i love about it and then just has these pants that go with they're like loungy pants they go up super high waisted which i like and i like leaving the top just loose over it or kind of tucked in and you can see where they tie again just like so chic and they like flow out the, at the bottom i just think it's like really fun all right i showed you guys free people movement but i didn't show you two sweaters that i have from just regular free people but actually they are like an old style and if you guys have followed me on instagram you maybe would see on my instagram story because i like went ham one day because they are my favorite sweaters ever and basically i had this gray one a while ago and it disappeared one day and i was so sad and i was like Gretchen, you have so many clothes like you're gonna be okay without it but i just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and i was like wow it would look good with this i wish i was wearing it with this like i wish i had it right now to wear and so then hunt began and i was looking for it where i could find it and it was like discontinued or sold out in free people because i think they sold it in like 2018 but i was like i need this sweater it was the most perfect sweater so then I found it on Nordstrom and I hope they still have some of these colors or like sizes in stock. It was hard for me to even get them. The gray one they had like the day I was looking in a size small and then the black one kept being out of stock and then one day it showed up in an extra small so I just like bought it immediately but I honestly feel like they don't even fit that different like extra small small it doesn't really matter. Um, they're oversized. They're basically these most perfect sweaters because they're kind of like cowl neck up at the top and they're so slouchy but like flattering in a way like i just love the fit of them they're really like oversized and long they're kind of like a tunic so yeah it doesn't really matter that the black one is an extra small because it basically fits the same as the gray small and these are just amazing but i also feel like in a way it could be a medium or large because it's like it's just going to be oversized anyway <laughs> so if these are still in stock i really hope i can find a link for you guys at nordstrom they are literally the best sweaters ever like if you're ever wondering like what's that sweater Christian wearing it's one of these two because I wear them like every day and then I'll show you guys I think I just got two things from Urban Outfitters in like the past month or two I think I showed you guys that or this was on my Instagram in a picture too this big Nirvana little graphic tee I feel like I don't have that many graphic tees I was trying to like branch out and Mandy when I visited her at South Carolina, when did I visit her? In the fall and last spring, I don't even remember. When I visited her, I remember she picked me up at the airport. I'll like never forget. She looked so cute. She was like so tan and she was wearing this shirt with like little black shorts. So you could almost not even see the shorts, but it was just like so casual and like such a cute look. So ever since then, I wanted this Nirvana shirt. So Mandy, you're not watching this, but I love you and I completely copied you because it was really cute. And then this, these are both inspired and copied by people I love because this black little Henley shirt I think is so cute. And I remember I linked on my Instagram, so I know they still sell at Urban. It will be linked down below. And it like buttons right there. And it's just so like flowy and soft and cute. And my friend KP had this and I borrowed it on Super Bowl. And I posted a picture maybe on Instagram or maybe it was a TikTok of me and Louisa doing Renegade. And everyone was like, where is that from? Urban Outfitters, so cute. I actually ended up, yeah, I got a large because I wanted to be super oversized and like baggy. And the large and the small really didn't look that much different than like different from each other on me so i just wanted the large to be a little more comfy and i would really recommend this because so cute and i feel like when i got it, it was on sale i don't know if it's still on sale but yeah then i can show you guys i got these vans these are the one pair of shoes sorry they're like dirty already i've just been wearing them so much ew you know what one of the stains though was from a big fluffy golden retriever stepping on my shoe and i was like i'm not even mad like I'm not mad when I look at that dirt stain it's gonna remind me of him like he was so perfect anyway so these are just these white vans and pretty much it's so random how I came across these me and Max were visiting when were we in Providence oh I think it was during his like all-star break for hockey and we were like bopping around Brown oh it was when he was playing Providence Brew yeah so we were like bopping around Brown campus during the day da 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 like shopping and I saw these white vans and I had never seen them before. I really like the platform. And I was like, do I need those? And they didn't have my size. And I was like, do I need them? And then we ended up going shopping, I think at like Providence Mall later or the next day or something. And I was like, okay, I really need them. So I got them at the band store because they have this little platform. I think it just makes them like really cute. And they're just like a white sneaker, literally go with everything. But 
I just love the little platform. It's the little details that make it, you guys. So I feel like I've been wearing those so much, like literally with everything. Now I will show you, let's do Revolve. How about that? All right, I got this long sleeve dress. I just thought this was so fun. This long sleeve, like cream knit dress. I don't have anything like this. I was like, I'm gonna branch out and be fashionable. And I didn't realize when I ordered it that <laughs> look, it has like all these buttons or like little gems. So I think that's fun. Like a little, a little something. And it just kind of like goes like that at the bottom. See the buttons end. And it's just like really cute on. I thought I got a small. I guess I got a, is this a medium? Why do I think? Yeah. I guess I got a medium. But I kind of like the medium because then it's like not too tight at all. Or it's not like whenever anything's like buttoned up, like when it's too small and like the buttons are pulling, like you don't want that. So I like that I kind of have a little more room i can wear it to dinner and eat my full italian meal I'm like my what am i trying to say a full plate of pasta at like an italian restaurant i'll be good to go and yeah i just think that's really cute i think that's from lovers and friends okay then i got these shorts so you're probably like why are you getting shorts in february gretchen well i'm actually going somewhere warm in 10 days i don't think i've even like said it yet so i guess it's kind of kind of can be like spring break too i'm literally going to show you two bikinis i got lol but um <clears throat> it makes perfect sense like spring break is coming up so anyway if you like these i just thought these were like the most perfect pair of like light medium wash little denim distress well i'm like out of breath shorts that are high waisted and yeah i just really like the little little thing going on right there is that a hole i don't really know just some distressing love them they're perfect i would say they fit true to size i got a 27 i believe where does it say i don't know but yeah these again are lovers and friends and really really like those then i got where is this from is this also lovers and friends i love lovers and friends okay this is just a white bodysuit that's like a little rougey at the top i just like the little the little details i honestly feel like i have one that looks just like this from princess polly in black I think I do, I like wore it the other day. So yeah, I guess I really like it since I have like two colors now, but I really like that. Then this will be so good. I was about to say for where I'm going, like when I'm on the beach with my high-waisted denim shorts, like for lunch or whatever. This is just, I think this is so cute because I don't have anything this color. This like light, really pretty green color. It's just like a really, really cropped, obviously crop top. You could even wear it as like a bralette probably, but I think it's supposed to be like a crop tank top. This is from the brand Privacy Please from Revolve, I love it. Then, I actually had a star, like a leather jacket with stars on it before from Grey Bandit, but I can never wear it because it fit me like a little too big. I wanted something a little more form fitting, so I got this in a small. This is from Super Down from Revolve. I love this, I think it's so fun. I don't know why it reminds me of Brooke and Danielle. I wore this to dinner with them the other day and I was like, you guys, this always like reminds me of you. I don't know why, like the stars. But I think this is so, freaking cute i don't know why i just love it like i feel like leather jackets are maybe a little harsh for me because i'm like so girly so the stars just make it like so fun and yeah that's definitely my favorite and then this is also from super down this isn't a medium i don't know what like what i was doing when i was ordering this at like 2 a.m like on my shopping one night but maybe i did get this in medium to be oversized or maybe i thought i was being small i don't know um but i really like this regardless it's like this cream little cropped jacket but obviously it has this like tan fur on the inside i think this is so fun and so cute and still fitting for the cold weather and i can just wear like some jeans and like a cute shirt under it even if i did like a little turtleneck like long sleeve shirt or something that would be so cute so i love this and then the last thing from revolve is this lovers and friends you guessed it black long sleeve dress but i love it because it has can you even see see how it has that like cut out detail right there so just like right here is showing and i just think it's really cute honestly once it came in the mail i was like gretchen you would always wear things like this to date parties and formals and stuff when you were in college but like what am i going to wear that to now i have no idea i better wear it like out one night to like a club or something fancy because i feel like it's fancy but yeah, I thought it was really cute. And then the last place I have to show you guys stuff from is Aritzia. I've been waiting till the end because that's probably where I have like the majority of stuff. All right, first thing from Aritzia that I couldn't show you guys is this shirt right here. It's just this white 
short sleeve little basic shirt. I love this so much because I know it might seem like stupid because it's literally just like a white crop top, but, and it's like ribbed and everything, it's so basic, but I love it because it literally is the best quality and I feel like I've had other basics in the past that just kind of like fall apart, so I love this and even though it could be more expensive than one that you could find cheaper. I feel like it's gonna last really well, so I really like this. And if you guys remember that vlog when I got it, I was like devastated because it was out of stock for a while and it finally came and I spilled foundation all over it and I was like, that thing is toast. But Taylor and I worked at it, we tried to scrub it out and then we bleached it and all is well. And you can't even tell, right? Where I got like foundation on it, so we're chilling. Then, literally the same thing, but long sleeve I had this first actually and then I think I got foundation <laughs> again on the sleeve and I like left it in Louisa and KP and Addie's apartment so I'm guessing it's just like floating around and they're wearing it and I was like it's fine I literally got a stain on it anyway I don't really want it anymore so I just got a new one because I'm just so over trying to get stains out of my clothes yeah so I just got the white long sleeve version of it ribbed now the lighting just got really bright there you can see it love it the best basics and um i feel like when i had the other one before i was just weird i was realizing that i was wearing it like every day so it's so good and yeah i know that the other one is getting good use by my friends then i had to get it in black because they're literally just the best they're so comfy they fit me so well i'm so comfortable in them i love them they're not too expensive cropped rib 35 so obviously this one's 35 too i forget how much maybe this one would be like 30 then i feel like it'd be a little less because it's short sleeve and yeah just got it in black the best basics literally everything i got from Ritzy is just like so basic this i've been wearing like every day i don't know what it's called but it'll be linked down below it's like a gray little thermal waffle knit long sleeve shirt kind of has like the raw hem crop like a little crop but not too cropped like i feel like it goes longer than like this you know and i've just been wearing it so much because it's so cozy and comfy like i literally love this shirt if there's like one thing that's all you're gonna get get the shirt because it's so cozy then i was like debating I'm like do i need to keep this i feel like i do all my online shopping in the middle of the night this is so similar to this except a darker gray and kind of a different fit this one's like long sleeve tight fitting and just has like a little split right there but i think it's really cute and they are different and i like it this is also so similar to that gray sweater i got from brandy melville literally the exact same color this is just a sweater and this is the shirt Oh, I guess I'm liking the dark gray. Okay, then, wait, I'm so confused. I thought I showed you this already. I literally went ham. Okay, I got this in black and white, obviously, and then I got it in black and white of the long sleeve because they're amazing. I love them. You could never have too many, apparently. Wow, I really went ham. All right, then this came before all of that. This I got like first, I think. What is this called? I swear I like saved the tag. I'll link down below. I'll find it. I want to say it was called like the boyfriend button up or something. So I knew it was going to be oversized. So I got an extra small and it fits perfect. So maybe order like a size down. And this is still like oversized and so comfy. And I feel like I've just gotten oversized stuff from them in the past in a small. And it has been way too big. So yeah, I'm happy I went with the extra small. Love this white button up. I was looking for a really good white button up for a while. How cute. I love that it's like longer in the back. I feel like it's really relaxed. I like that I could wear it with like a swimsuit at the beach. I wore it tucked into jeans the other day and I just really like this button up. I think it's really nice. Aritzia has the best quality. It reminds me of like Reformation. They're just like more expensive but really good quality and so I think it's worth it. Then this I ordered <laughs> literally in like the fall i think you guys a lot of their stuff gets like back ordered so then i just random stuff comes and i'm like oh i forgot i like ordered that months ago um so i think i ordered this in the fall but it's actually perfect timing that it's showing up now because how cute is this it's gonna be so cute in the spring it's just this really pretty like pastel tie-dye little crop short sleeve shirt so i thought this was like so fun and i really like it hopefully i can link it down below so you guys can get it too hopefully you won't have to wait till like september to get it and i'm realizing i'm the worst and i left a bunch of clothes at max's that are from aritzia so i don't even have them with me to show you but I can tell you because one, okay, so the first thing I got these leather leggings, I'll insert a picture right here for my Instagram. And I got so many questions, where are those leggings from? From Aritzia. I want to say they're called like the Daria 
pants or leggings um i don't know why that like names in my head i might be wrong i'll link them down below but i really like them they're really cute leather leggings and everyone was asking me if they were the spanx ones i feel like everyone loves the spanx ones everyone's telling me i need to get them so maybe those will be the next leather leggings that i try but i really like those ones from maritia and then i got this gray cropped hoodie from maritia and i got it in extra small because i wanted it to be more tight fitting so i could wear it like at max's hockey games under like my denim jacket he got me you guys saw um on christmas and i like it so much it's literally i like it it was really i said i like it. everyone everything i'm like i love it but no i really do love this cropped hoodie and i just realized i looked at my closet i'm like where did all my cropped hoodies go like i feel like i used to have so many and i miss that so this is just the perfect basic gray cropped hoodie i'll link it down below and then last thing i wrote down oh yeah i got this like neon yellow bralette and i think it was like on sale too it was so cheap i just really like stretchy soft bralettes to wear under things when i don't feel like wearing a bra so i'll link that down below too even though i don't even have it in front of me to show you guys the lighting keeps changing in this it's getting dark like clouds are coming and it gets really like dark like see now it's getting dark but a second ago it was really bright sorry if that's like bothering you i think i thought aritzia was the last if i had to show you oh my gosh there's actually okay i'm gonna show you my bikinis that i got from frankie's and then like one last bonus item because i know this is probably getting long so i ordered this pink bikini you know what? i'm not gonna try this on because yeah i don't feel like getting demonetized <laughs> but i'm just gonna show it to you so i just got this hot pink bikini i want to say does it say the style name chase top yes because i have this in like neon orange and it's so flattering and i love it so i just got it in like hot pink and then i got the boots bottom in hot pink as well to go with so cute these are gonna be perfect for my warm destination then i thought this was so cute i got the lulu top and hippie is hippie the color maybe or like the print it's just this floral print how cute so cute i am literally like i cannot wait to wear this these are gonna be in all my pictures sorry my chair is like squeaking if you can hear that okay then i just got the bottom to go with the kenzie bottom and hippie yeah how cute these are gonna be so cute okay ready for my last bonus item last but not least this haul wouldn't be complete without my favorite blanket this is so random here at the end like click out now if you're over it <laughs> no but um i just want to show you guys because i think all of vlogmas i was like meaning to talk about it in a vlog and then i never this chair is driving me crazy there i'm just gonna stand because i'm over it <laughs> um i think all of vlogmas i yeah was trying to show you guys this blanket and i was just like forgetting and i don't even know but it is the best blanket ever and if you watch other people on youtube then you probably already know this is the barefoot dreams blanket it is literally so perfect and so worth it and i feel like i saw people talk about them for so long and i was like you know what you don't need to spend that crazy amount of money on a blanket Gretchen you have other blankets that you love like you're good like I'm looking at this Urban Outfitters one that I have over there so soft so good but this is like a different kind of soft I'm gonna get it okay ready to my blanket review this is so soft like don't get me wrong and if you want a cheaper alternative I would literally get this I'm gonna find it and link it down below in Urban because Urban has the softest most comfiest blankies like it's so soft and plush but then this one is more like a like a smooth like cashmere soft i don't even know how to describe it i like understand what the hype is about now because it's just so cute and i remember they had like a sale going on on the website but they didn't have this color and i was like i need this cream tan color it's just so me and so perfect and i don't want a different color so i literally went hunting for it i found it on amazon paid full price I don't even want to tell you. I think it's like $200. I'm not even kidding. Like absolutely insane. But I just had heard about it for so long and always thought about it. And I was like, okay, it's going to be a Christmas present for me to me. So I love it so much. It's so cute. And I literally sleep it, sleep with it every night. It goes on top of my comforter because I get cold. And I sleep with like a million blankets and duvet covers and stuff. And I like pull it all the way up around my face like this. And it's just so cozy. So I would so recommend. And sorry I'm standing at the end of my hall. We're just chilling now. But I just want to show you guys all these pieces that I've been collecting over the past like month or two and just picking up for the spring season. So now when you see me popping up on Instagram and all my new clothes, you'll know why. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.